Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video will probably be different from our usual content. To be honest with you, I have been experiencing a creative block, an inspirational block, however you want to call it, and I've sort of been spiraling down. I am in need of a reboot, a refresh, and a restart, as I know most of us do probably a change of perspective. You know, it's that time of the year where you can't help but look back and reflect. Try to get inspired again, try to get connected with yourself again, and to just appreciate the beauty of everything around you. And I thought about bringing you guys with me as I go through this process, as I try to do all these things. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how this will turn out. I have bits and pieces of it in my head, but not really the whole picture yet. So, I don't know, just journey with me. And I hope that if you feel the same way as I do, that this encourages you to take a moment to just breathe, to take it all in and to just appreciate and be grateful. So yeah, without further ado, welcome to our holiday special. As we grow up, the simple things become so mundane that we tend to forget just how much joy they bring us. Like cooking, eating, having a good meal, or being creative, remembering what it's like to be a kid. We end up being so busy that we rarely have time to even take it all in. And so sometimes, it's good to take a step back, to hit pause, rewind, and to play it all again, remembering the happiness it brings. Driving around has always been a way for me to just escape and appreciate the things around me that I don't usually notice. Like how blue the sky is, how pigmented the leaves are, and how refreshing it is to just do simple things but in a more grateful and appreciative mindset. It's finding happiness in the little things. I feel like going on a journey without an actual destination allows you to treat every moment with a greater sense of appreciation. Knowing that where you are and who you are right now is exactly where you're meant to be. Sunsets have always been my favorite. It's a reminder that I lived another beautiful day. It's a great source of comfort, like a pat on the back or a soft whisper telling you, you did good, kid and then you live again for tomorrow with faith, love, and hope in your heart, knowing that at the end of the day, there will come another sunset to remind you of the beauty of today. believe that when people are sinking or when they feel like they're drowning, the instinct is to reach up 
in an attempt to at least try to be able to breathe again, or to grasp even the slightest of hope, to go higher and higher, to remind yourself that you're part of something bigger. We reach up because we know that up, be it physically or spiritually, is where we feel most alive. And so really that's what I'm doing here. And now I can't help but think of how amazing God is. This right here is proof of all his wonders. And I'm always left in awe. You really can see his love in everything he created. And that includes you. Looking back at 2020, I'm very grateful to have been transformed to the person I am now. God filled every corner of my life with His presence, even though at times I was too preoccupied in my head to even notice. Sometimes it takes an entire year to pass before you realize that He's been there all along, that despite the challenges, the frustrations, the tears you've shed, and the pain you had to go through, there was still so much love embracing you, meeting you in the middle, right where you are. As we say hello to 2021, I pray that this time around we get to be present, that we get to experience His wonders as they happen right in front of us, appreciating every blessing as little as they may seem, knowing and believing that as bad as things may appear to be, it does not, cannot, and will not end here. Hello. 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 I need water. <laughs>